Hello, I'm Diana Cooper, and in this clip I want to talk to you about Golden Atlantis. Now, Atlantis lasted for 240,000 years, and in that period there was a 1,500-year slot where the energy was the highest it's ever been on the planet, and people really did create heaven on earth. And in order to help you really connect with the energy of this extraordinary time, Diane Egby Edwards is going to play her powerful and extraordinary bowls, making music that will really help you to connect. At this time, there were 12 tribes, and each tribe was led by the high priest and the high priestess. There were 12 of these at any given time, and their role was to just serve, just do what was for the highest good of their people. They had no other intention in mind and they vibrated between the fifth and sixth dimension. They had the most awesome and extraordinary powers. Now, how everybody held their energy in this time was by cooperation. They all worked together for the common good. They did everything that made their heart sing, and as a result, everybody work together, working in harmony and togetherness. And the result was contentment. During this period, one of the secrets of their success was that no one wanted to be better than anybody else or to be richer or to do more. They just sought contentment. And from that inner contentment, their gift all blossomed. They also loved nature and animals. Every household had dogs and cats. They looked after horses and cows and sheep. And they recognized that all the animals had souls and won their own ascension pathway. So they all worked together as one big family. No one was better than anybody else. But this love of animals helped them then, and it will help us now on our ascension path. It helped to maintain their 12 chakras. They all had these 12 chakras so that they had enormous spiritual gifts. And we are now returning to a time when many people are bringing back their 12 chakras. So they were all clairvoyant. They could all see fairies and angels and into the other dimensions of spirits. They were also all telepathic and this meant they had no need for mobile phones. They just connected mind to mind with people. For example, if your child was playing outside and you were worried about them, you would just send a telepathic message to your child. And they were so powerful, they could make a video clip of, mentally of where they were and project it back to their parents. So everything was clear. There were no secrets. Just as now, we are living at a time when all secrets are coming up to the surface to be revealed. Another source of their power was mind control. Everyone was taught it and practiced it, but the mage had it to a considerable degree. They were so powerful that they could focus their minds and use crystal power and manifest, materialize out of the other realms and dimensions. At that time, they had awesome spiritual technology. 
They could move at speeds faster than we have any concept of. And part of the source of their power was the dome over golden Atlantis. And this was made up of pyramid-shaped crystals. And they were set in triangular formation over the entire continent. And this meant that it was the source of their power, it was the source of their internet connections, and they could draw on the energy for anything that they needed. And we're moving again into a time when this is to be so. Lastly, I'd like to say a little bit about the crystal skulls. Every single tribe had a crystal skull which was made in a way that we cannot even understand now. And into this skull was programmed all the information and knowledge about each tribe and also knowledge about the origins and purpose of humankind. And when Atlantis fell, the priestesses took their skulls to their new places and they were hidden. There was also a 13th skull, an amethyst one, which contained all the information of the 12. And this was taken into a higher dimension where it is still hidden now. Now, one of the crystal skulls has already surfaced, and that is the Mayan one. And in 2012, a second one is going to come forward and that is the Incan skull. It's going to be found by its keepers and it's going to be kept safe in their custody but people everywhere will feel the impact of it as they tune into the wisdom it holds. And by 2032, six of the skulls will have been returned to us and they will considerably affect the consciousness of the planet. We are on our way to bringing back golden Atlantis, but one step higher. This is what we're aiming for. So as you live your life, remember, we are on a journey to a much higher spiritual dimension. Thank you.